Hey guys, and welcome back to the channel. And today I want to show you the new underwater case that DJI just released for the Osmo Pocket. And it's a waterproof case that allows you to take photos and videos underwater up to 60 meters deep. I'm going to show you what comes in the box, and also I will show you some sample footage of how it performs and how the footage looks underwater. So, here we go. All right guys, so let's do a quick unboxing. Basically what you're going to find in the box is the underwater housing itself, as you can see here, it's made out of plastic. Then you're going to find your usual DJI instructions. At the bottom, you're gonna find some anti-fog strips that will prevent the camera from fogging once you're inside the water, and that's it. That's all you're gonna find. There's nothing complicated about installing the waterproof case. Basically, you open the underwater case just like this. Make sure you insert the anti-fog strip inside. Insert the Osmo Pocket facing the same way as the underwater case. Connect this little camera holder. And that's it, you're ready to go. Before doing all of this and you put the Osmo Pocket into the underwater case though, you have to download the latest update on your Osmo Pocket, which is a 1.08, which is gonna let you put the Osmo Pocket into the new underwater mode. To find the underwater mode, basically you have to scroll all the way to the left until you see the underwater case image and select that. Now it's going to ask you to power off the device before you insert it into the case. But just remember that you have to set all your camera settings before you do so, because otherwise you won't be able to change the settings once the Osmo Pocket is inside the case. The only thing you will be able to change once the Osmo Pocket is in the underwater case is between photos and videos and nothing else. Now let me show you some sample footage so you can see how it performs underwater. For my camera settings, I set the camera to auto white balance and to 4K 60 frames per second because I knew I probably wanted to slow down the footage a little bit later on. If you're mostly taking pictures underwater, I suggest that you set your camera to JPEG and RAW because if you shoot RAW, you can for the most part correct any white balance issue you encounter later on. I think that for $49, this is a must-have accessory for your Osmo Pocket that is going to take your footage to the next level. Alright guys, that's it for today. Don't forget to subscribe for more camera tech and drone reviews. See you on the next one.